We've all had them, a cell phone call from a scammer, but a new study recently released by the Better Business Bureau is shedding light on the sheer volume of calls during the coronavirus pandemic. News 9's Gage Golding reports. With many of us staying at home, we all have some extra time on our hands, and that's exactly what scammers are looking to take advantage of. They figure we're there to answer our phones or there to open our mail and they figure why not? We're going to try to get your information and get your money. A new study by the BBB says that 44% of Americans have received a government imposter scam with hundreds of millions of dollars lost by innocent victims along the way. The most popular in 2020, scammers trying to help you get your stimulus check quicker. So whether they're trying to get your information or they're saying for a small fee, you know, send us that small fee and we'll get that to you sooner. Another popular scan during the pandemic involves these guys, dogs, a perfect fit for those staying at home and looking for a little company. The idea is there is no puppy, but they're trying to get you to believe they have this cute, cuddly puppy, um, but that you can't come see it. We have to ship it to you. The scammers are smart people, so any way that they think they can get that money from you or get that information from you, they're going to do it. Scammers have also been posing as CDC officials, claiming they can get you a better face mask in exchange for personal information or payment. What are some things that everybody needs to be on the lookout for? One thing that we note is that there's a sense of urgency that the scammers are going to pose to you, and they, they want you to make that decision right now, right, right there on that phone call. Some other tips Thompson has include the government isn't going to call you. Instead, you'll likely get a letter in the mail. She always encourages everyone to ask questions, and if you're not sure, call the BBB or another local agency and always follow your gut. Scammers will often ask for payment via wire transfer or gift cards. Now, Thompson tells me that the government will never ask for that form of payment. Reporting for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.